The biggest technical challenge was building a human in data. It hadn't been done before. Robert Patrick is the T-1000. We're going to study his body. We're going to watch his movements. We're going to find a way to capture his quality. There was no motion capture back then. So Mark and I thought, OK, well, let's do what Moybridge had done. Put a grid, but not on the background, but a grid on the guy. The day I got cast, I'm flown to wherever the hell ILM is. Spaz and Mark started painting these grids over me. And I had no idea what the fuck they were doing. Pardon my language, but you know, they're animators. I don't know what they're doing, but they, they seem real interested in what I'm doing. All right. Oh, man, oh, man. I'm one of the biggest No, on. no, you're not. Yes, sir. I could have been a team. You can only pray to have lines like that. I think it's the only time we're ever going to see you with a smile, Robert. Huh? <laughs> He's out of care. Mark and Steve were so inquisitive about what was I thinking, where was I getting these ideas. If you're my target now, mm -hmm. my left leg, my mm -hmm. hip would drop back, my hip would leave me, and then the target's there. Gotcha. Immediately, it clicked with them. We had like our own theory, our own T-1000 talk, our own jargon. And they were kind of close to my age. And I could tell they were young and eager, trying to make a name for themselves as well. We were all pretty passionate. And I remember thinking, T2, man, it's a whole nother level up. The walk out of the fire, the first unveiling of the special powers the T-1000 had. The first take I did, I went in there and I could smell my shirt burning. And I could feel it on the back of my ears. My ears were getting singed. The first shot I had to do was CC1 walking out of the fire. That was 375 frames long, fully skinned, walking T-1000. I remember shooting that, and I remember everybody being frustrated. I remember me being very frustrated because I thought I was fucking it up for everybody. I think we did like 27 takes or something. I don't know. I do remember that day, Jim and I sitting somewhere in that canal off to the side in the shade. I think he could sense how frustrated I was. And he said, hey, man, this has never been done. We're making movie history. This is history right now. At ILM, we shot all this great reference material of Robert Patrick walking. I had come up with a method to actually build the T-1000. OK, ready to roll camera? All right, roll B camera. Action! Okay, ready? Ready, roll camera. All right, roll B camera. Action! I started with a set of bones. Spaz, he actually animated my skeletal system. So it operates like any standard puppet. It's got 30 channels to it that go from anywhere from controlling the speed of his legs to the speed of what his fingers are doing. This is really the first successful step to adding real life to an otherwise inanimate piece of geometry. We are destined to do that or nothing. We knew that other people had come so far, we wanted to go beyond that. Once that shot happened, that was it. Everybody knew. There was a new beginning. ILM was evolving. If you're